Hey everyone, so my name is Sasha and I'm going to be presenting on how I build this custom widget for the graph that you can see over here, where I'm presenting the uh, pain level data that I have here at the bottom. Um, there's a lot of questions how to do these things in the uh, Flutterflow IO circle community, uh, as well as I saw some interest on YouTube, so I decided to just make this uh, as I had spent quite some time figuring it out with, uh, with a few people. So uh, first of all, it's I think it's quite important for anyone who wants to uh, build something like this. It was built using Syncfusion Flutter charts um, and it's Cartesian charts. Uh, part of the library. So here is already one example that I tried using and it, it did work. But uh, the issue for me was that the sales data was already predefined inside of this example, as well as some other examples. And in my case, what I'm actually doing is I'm providing a list of documents and trying to take the data from that list of documents and present it here on the, on the chart. Uh, so an example for this is, is not like in here uh, or how to do it because Flutterflow, it, it has some specifics to it. And uh, yeah, so uh, without further ado, so this is the, the code. Um, so it's class charts. This is the same name that needs to be here for the widget. Um, you, you, shouldn't forget to add dependencies, which is this uh, Syncfusion Flutter charts, uh, to refresh it. And here are some of the parameters that uh, this function, is uh, this custom widget is using. And this pain data stream is like a list of documents um, that's provided. Um, and it's being used to display the data. So what's what, what's uh, been giving me a lot of confusion and then later we managed to figure it out is that, okay, you have to, you, you kind of provide uh, through this uh, list of parameters, you provide the pain data stream. And this is the data type of list, pain data point record. So pain data point record is defined somewhere in, uh, behind the scenes by uh, Flutterflow IO. Um, and you, you can't really access uh, the, the code to see like how do parameters look like, uh, but you can kind of guess that it's a list. So you kind of have to iterate through the objects and then for each object, you get a list of parameters. And what was quite confusing for me was because if I go to my um, like pain data point, you can see it's underscore uh, so pain underscore description, pain underscore level, or whatever, all of these other parameters. But the, the, what later uh, we've managed to figure out through a lot of team efforts, uh, well, at least for me, uh, I needed a lot of help. Um, we figured out that actually, if you wanted to access to a specific parameter, you kind of have to go transform instead of pain underscore level underscore int, it needs to change into pain uh, big L level uh, big I in int. So that's kind of how it changes compared to what you have in your uh, Firebase or Firestore. And then it's you're actually going to be able to access the data from the list of the documents. Um, so that was like, I think the biggest challenge for me to figure this one out. Um, of course, the rest was also a bit of a challenge to learn how to use this library properly, but there is a lot of documentation in here. So I do suggest you go and read through the things that you need. Uh, it's, I think it's uh, well-written documentation, uh, good enough to understand. So, and maybe just to briefly go through the code here. So uh, as you can see, so widget dot something kind of gives you the data from here. So here under the data source, 
you can see widget.pane data stream where basically this list is provided. And then this, uh, because this is a list of pane data point records, you can see here in this line series, it's kind of defined um, what what's you know in this list. Um, so it's pain uh, it's pain data point record uh, again in, in this one. Um, and then if you go further, 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 this X value mapper. Uh, where you kind of get in, into it like one specific point, um, you can access, for example, pain uh, point uh, time created. So that's like uh, the when when the data point was entered and the pain level, so which is just an integer from zero to ten on how painful some it is, and it changed to double because that's what the library requires. Um, and that's basically that's that's these are the most important things. Of course, there's many details in here. On like uh, I'm also uh, presenting a trend line, which is based on the data that was uh, put in here. So and it's a linear one, as you can see here. Um, and but but more more or less, this is the the main this was the main challenge on how to access this this data. Uh, so I'm going to be posting this code into Flutter for Low Circle community. Uh, there's like one post there. Um, so I'm going to put in the, the this code so you guys can access it there. Uh, and let me know in the comments or in the um, in the community if you have any extra questions. Uh, I, I can promise that I'm going to be able to solve your challenges. I know a few people had uh, uh, like a goal to make this work and weren't able to, even though they use the same code as I did. Uh, so yeah, I can promise anything, but hope this helps. See ya.